Here's how to do the I's, T's, and the W's. This helps to strengthen and condition the shoulder blade areas, the upper abdominals, and the mid-back for stability in the upper quarter. You can use weights or no weights, but do not go higher than five pounds. Otherwise, you're likely to compensate. First, what you're going to do is put the weights in both hands if you're using weights. The, with the eyes, with your eye being the dot, you're going to stand on your heels, tuck your tailbone, and sit back as if you're gonna sit into a chair. Squeeze your elbows straight, shoulders back, chin tucked. Pull back as your elbows lock straight and control the lowering. Keep your ribs stacked on top of your hips the whole time. Don't let your back arch stay tucked in. Pull back and lower, pull back and lower, pull back and lower with control. Then we have the T's. Same position, feet together, knees stacked on top of the ankles, ribs tucked, shoulders back, chest lifted. If you can't keep your shoulders back without your ribs popping out or your back arching, remember to tuck your tailbone, shoulders back, and then exhale to cinch your ribs. Put both arms out in front, straighten your elbows out, pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Don't overextend and arch your back, keep your ribs in and come back to center. Elbows straight, pull back, and come back together. If your elbows don't stay straight, don't only go as far as you can that you can keep them straight because your bicep is compensating for your shoulder blades. Very good. And then the last one is the W's. Same start position, standing in the heels, knees stacked on top of the ankles, tailbone tucked. Shoulders back, breathe out to pull your ribs in. Starting here, pull back, Squeeze your shoulder blades together and come back to center. Keep weight even on both feet. Tailbone stays tucked, ribs stay in, shoulders stay back, chin stays relaxed, like so.